Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss about privilege escalation. Basically, the privilege escalation is a common way for attackers to gain unauthorized access to the systems within a security perimeter. Attackers start by finding the weak point in an organization's defenses and gain access to a system. In many cases, the first point of penetration testing will be to grant attackers with the level of access or the data they needed. And basically the attackers uh, will then attempt the privilege escalation to gain more permission or obtain access to additional or more, more sensitive uh, systems. <clears throat> In some cases, attackers attempting uh, privilege escalation find the doors are wide open, inadequate security controls or failure to follow the principle of uh, least privilege with uh, users having more privileges than they actually needed. In other cases, attackers exploit software vulnerabilities or use specific techniques to overcome an operating system's permission mechanism. Basically, there are two types of privilege escalation, horizontal privilege escalation and vertical privilege escalation. In speaking about the horizontal privilege escalation where an attacker expands uh, their privileges by taking over another account and misusing the legitimate privileges granted to the other user. And the vertical escalation is an attacker attempting to gain more permissions or access within an existing account they have compromised. And uh, with this understanding, we will proceed with the practical demonstration. So in the previous video, we saw gaining access to the Windows 10 computer by uh, uh, um, injecting a payload into the target. And here, let us see uh, what, what else we can do with that. And a uh, very important thing most of the attackers will try to do in the victim's computer is to uh, 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 capture the keystrokes of the victim. So here we'll try to uh, start the uh, start capturing the keystroke. So uh, I can also show you the help command again. So where you can use a particular command. So key scan start. So is the a command for a start capturing the keystroke and key scan stop is the command to stop the key capturing keystroke and key scan dump is the command to dump the keystroke after the buffer so now we'll start with the uh, key scan start so here you can see the starting the keystroke uh, sniffer and it has been started Maybe in the Google I'm search something info security or in the other tab other tab let me try to access a email like uh, let me try to access hotmail.com <clears throat> and also uh, let me try to sign in with an email ID I'm just typing a demo email ID chroma at hotmail.com so asking for the password let me try to type some password okay something I'm getting so now we can uh, see the result of the keystroke by getting the dump and here we can see initially we started typing info security then we started hotmail and also <clears throat> we have typed comet at hotmail.com and the password we typed one two three four five so like this everything is getting captured so basically by gaining access we are able to do few things now let us try to add a user net user i'm going to use this from the shell okay net user i want to add a username before that i want to see if there is any user in a particular name
so under computer management i can find local users and computers where i can see the user named admin administrator john martin and sheila and uh, let us try to add another user with the name hacker and password i want to just give one two three four five and slash add and here you can see access is denied so we are not able to add the user let me come back to the metapreter session and from here uh, okay i want to see the user information uh, like uh, get uh, uid will give the user information so currently we have logged in we have connected with the target using this user account and uh, also if i if i want to escalate the privilege so where we have a command uh, so get system so this command uh, will elevate the privilege but here again uh, this option also this uh, operation also failed so we need to go other other uh, 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 methodologies to gain the privilege so currently what i'm going to do is i'm go there is basically a uh, in metapreter that is a metasploit framework uh, there is a um, exploit uh, for bypassing the user access control i'm going to use that particular uh, 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 exploit here so i want to uh, put this session in the background so we can type background and then press enter so we are back into the msf console and from here i want to use the bypass user access control uh, exploit so type use exploit for windows and this is for local for bypassing bypass user access control underscore for helper so this is an exploit so which is which can bypass the user access control and after giving enter you need to uh, define the uh, optional parameters so we'll go with uh, show options and here we can see the session id has to be configured so i want to know what are all the current sessions running so we can type uh, sessions hyphen l will list all the sessions so currently we can see our metapreter session uh, is uh, the session id is one so i want to set the session id as one once again let us confirm the optional configuration you can see the session id is configured so now we can exploit this and now the uh, we can see the user access control is enabled and part of administrative group continuing user access control is set and bypass user access control can bypass this setting continuing so now we'll be able to uh, now we'll uh, get back to the session so type session one i want to connect the session one so we are back into the metapreter session so now we'll try to use the previous command get system which was failed again we are getting the same and now we'll try to get the uid information and still we are seeing uh, with the administrator i think uh, one more time let me proceed with the previous command sometimes this may fail so once again you can repeat this and once again let me exploit this okay okay so again okay, now you can see the session is open and now i think it will work for us we'll try to connect the shell 
and here you can see we are into the system 32 let me go back let me get the system information view GUID and still the same admin account okay no issues can get into the shell and we'll try the command net user hacker password one two three four five slash add yeah so now you can see the command is successful and we can also verify the same in windows 10 and here uh, okay here we can see a user the name hacker is there and the user is a member of a local users group if i want this user to be a domain administrator so i can add this user to a local admin group so i can use net local group and uh, um administrators so in this group i want to add hacker slash add here you can see the command was successful we can verify now the hacker user account will be member of domain administrator group so this is how you can perform the privilege escalation uh, in any uh, compromised target so or kind of initially we'll gain access with the lower level of privilege maybe after gaining the access so we can get the higher level of privilege with this kind of procedures so there are many methods in gaining access or uh, uh, escalating the privilege sort of which so here uh, i have just shown you one method so uh, once you get into this so you can learn next level of uh, privilege escalations one by one and that's all for this video and uh, in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing the rest of the topics until then bye bye